Soon, Pokemon's first foray onto the Nintendo Switch will be sitting on store shelves. We don't know when that day is, or what it will really be like, but what we do know is that the pressure on Game Freak and Nintendo will be incredibly high. But in the meantime, it may just be best to go revisit older Pokemon titles. While we are waiting for this new Pokemon game, we could be playing X and Y on the Switch for example. So in this video, I want to list the three pre-existing Pokemon games that the Nintendo Switch needs. Before I start though, I have to make it clear that I probably won't show any Nintendo footage in this video. I might show screenshots, but I don't want to get a strike from Nintendo. So in third, we have a classic series that I think everyone knows. The Pokemon RGB series. Pokemon Red, Green, and Blue are some classic games that really gave Pokemon as a series a head start. Not only is the nostalgia level for people amazing, the game itself is just great. The music defines the word classic, the Pokemon battles are actually exciting, and the story is a highlight. Now obviously since this game was designed for consoles like the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color, porting it over to the Switch is easier said than done. Since the Nintendo Switch has way more buttons than the Game Boy, Nintendo would have to remap a lot of the controls, but to be honest, I don't see any other reason for Nintendo to not add this to the eShop. I'm also sure that if this game does come out for the Switch, it will be a virtual console title. And since we have absolutely no clue when Nintendo is releasing virtual console games on the Switch, this game's release date is a mystery. But if Nintendo does release this game for the Switch, then that would be a good way to help pass the time in between now and Pokemon Switch's release. So next up is actually a game that you probably weren't expecting. I'd like to see Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon on the Switch. Now is it the best Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game? I don't know, I haven't played them all. But Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, in my opinion, was just fun. The visuals were impressive, the battles were good, and overall it was an enjoyable little game. But do I expect everyone to want this game on the Switch? Hell no. I know that some people have mixed opinions on this game, and yes I know it doesn't have online features whatsoever, but it still wasn't an awful game. I enjoyed it, and I'm sure that other people did too. Now do I actually expect Nintendo to port over this game? No. The game didn't sell good enough for Nintendo to really make a port of it, and to be honest, there isn't really any reason for them to port it over. Maybe they can make Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon Deluxe that resolves a lot of the issues with the old game, but that's unlikely. I think that Nintendo sees this game as a rock that doesn't need to be turned over. And finally, we have the number one Pokemon game I want on the Switch. Well, actually it's one of the two combos, so I guess it's games, but that's not really important. Some of you are going to love me, and some of you are going to hate me. So, what games are they? Well, it's actually Pokemon Sun and Moon. Not the Ultra variant though. So, why would I want Nintendo to port over these games? Actually, it's simple. I think that they are just flat out good. Pokemon Sun and Moon feels like Pokemon Red, Green, and Blue in modern times. Visually, it looks good. Some areas of the game look so good that I often feel like I'm playing a Wii U game rather than a 3DS game. The story is unique and compelling. At times, I literally couldn't put down the system because I was so engaged in the story. Say what you want about the new Pokemon, but to be completely honest, I don't mind them. The game also isn't easy, but at the same time, I never feel like the game's being totally unfair. Is this game perfect? No. Is it good though? Absolutely. And the sales do back up a port for this game. Pokemon Sun and Moon are ranked number 3 on the best selling 3DS games of all time. Combined, they sold almost 16 million units. Now I know what you're probably going to say, Pokemon X and Y beat out Sun and Moon and are the 3DS's best selling game of all time. 
So clearly that game would come first in Nintendo's eyes, right? And yeah, you aren't wrong, but that doesn't mean that these games are completely out of the picture here. For all we know, Nintendo could already be working on Sun and Moon for the Switch. There's even rumors, which I've covered on the channel before, that Pokemon's first RPG on the Switch will be a successor to Sun and Moon, or Ultra Sun and Moon, called Pokemon Stars. So those are the three Pokemon games that I want on the Nintendo Switch the most. I know that some of these games are unlikely, but regardless of that, I still want to play them on the Switch. But what are your top picks for Pokemon games on the Switch? Let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, then I would appreciate it if you shared it on social media, but that's always up to you. Once again, I hope you enjoyed, and see you.